Good afternoon. We are headed out to the public land for a little bow hunt tonight. It is about 7 o'clock and it gets dark at about 8.30, so we don't have a lot of time to hunt here tonight. It'll be a, another short and sweet hunt, but it's my first time getting out on the public land here with my bow in hand this year, so I'm stoked to do it. I've got a couple options in mind. I'm going to swing by a house and see if I can get permission to access through land. And if not, I'll just have to access on the public, which will work out fine. Um, I'm excited. Andrew and I saw a nice buck in here. That'd be cool to see. But honestly, if I get within 30 yards of any mature deer, I'm going to try to take it. So we finally got cooler weather now. It's been so hot for a while. Man, the deer have got to be moving tonight. It's just a beautiful night. I'm excited to be out here and excited to give it a whirl. Holy moly, very good news. So I met the farmer that owns this field that I'm hunting off of and he doesn't mind. I can shoot in there and um, I can access through the edge of his field. That just opens up a whole new game plan for tonight. I, I was kind of hoping I could do this, but I was tempering my hopes. Dude, very nice guy and he stopped what he was doing to come over and talk for a while. He's busy tonight. And, I appreciate that a lot, so I'm really excited. I'm going to sneak in through this cornfield and get as close to this bedding area of this buck that I can, and I know there's other deer in there. Oh, it looks like there's another hunter out here. Ah. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Huh. There's another truck parked up here. Definitely not in an ideal spot. I was hoping that we'd have it to ourselves, especially on a weekday night like this. But we don't. So. Adjusted my game plan, and uh, we are going to head in from the public land. So we aren't using the private access anymore, but we can still shoot onto the private field, so that's nice. Um, my game plan was kind of to hunt the area where that truck is parked, to be honest, and. I just don't think the deer are going to want to come out that way with that truck being there. So, what I'm going to do is hunt back a little bit on the other side of that truck, basically. So, now that the deer don't want to go out towards the truck, hopefully they'll come out the other way, right to me. And the wind still sets up good for that, so... This could all work out well and could be a we're headed in here. It's just past seven o'clock. Feels good to have the bow in hand and be heading into the woods. When I'm going out on public land like this, I try to have a bunch of different options. That way, given the different scenarios that always rise up, you at least have a solid option plan. And I feel good about what we got going on here today. I'm going to try to close this first distance really quickly. And then once I get closer to where the deer are, the, we want to hunt tonight. So I'll slow down. We got nice little wind cover noise right now. I'm going to try to capitalize on it too. It's supposed to die down as the night progresses. Let's get Walk in the 
is. It's pretty solid mud along these ponds, and it's a uh, low ground, so I'm kind of down and hidden from everything. And it's completely silent compared to walking up in that brush. It's awesome. So I'm gonna stay on this as long as I can. Try to sneak right up into the bedding area where these deer want to be. That looks good. Really good. That truck over there definitely in another bull hunter. I hear shotgun shots coming from over there. And only thing I can really think of that they could be hunting is dove. So, kind of makes me a little bit upset. But what do you do? It's part of the fun, I suppose.
mind just came together perfectly. That's a hard one to swallow. But lesson learned, I'll save my video editing for when I'm not hunting. It's just, it's not worth it, so. I guess we learned a lot tonight. And from the way the deer acted, I wish I would have got video of it. That really would have been sweet. Um, but I was just so shocked to actually see him there. Um, getting in video is the last thing on my mind. So the way he acted after he kind of bounded off. So I was sitting there editing. He came walking up the field edge and on that dirt where I was walking to get into this spot you can just move completely silently so that's what he was doing and I just heard pff, pff, kind of behind me huh oh, kind of sounds like a deer breathing but there's no way there's one behind me because I would have heard him coming in wrong I look back over my shoulder and there he was I'd say about five or seven yards just looking right at me it's a nice big tall eight pointer with decent g1s right outside the ears definitely a three and a half year old buck or better they were i'd say probably three and a half so nice buck and he just bounds off to about 20 yards just kind of looking around so that tells me that he wasn't all that spooked and then he just kind of worked off from there but I could tell I could just see him through the brush and then a little bit later I could hear a deer feeding on corn down that way so I'm guessing that he just resumed his feeding and did his thing so that's really good um, shouldn't have blown him out of here the tough thing is I won't be able to get in and hunt for a few more days but that's just the way it goes. I try to make the most of when I can get out. And I can't wait to get back out here on this thing. Oh man, that was a close call. He'd be the biggest South Dakota buck I've got by far. And, man, oh, one other thing I wanted to point out was that playing the game of going to the opposite side of where those guys were doing their shenanigans that was the move that was a really good decision so I'll definitely keep that in mind going forward and you can bet I'm going to be back out here after that thing or uh, any other buck for a matter of fact and we'll give her another whirl <laughs>